When children have opportunities to play with sounds inside words, this supports their development of phonological awareness. In this classroom, the teacher helps children to create their own variation on a familiar nursery rhyme. So earlier in the week, we started uh, teaching the children when to buckle my shoe during a transition time, and the children loved it so much, so I decided to take that song, and we are actually going to use it for our small group today. Okay, so for small group today, we're gonna do the rhyme, one, two, buckle my shoe. So can everyone stand up on their feet? Let's stand up. And can you say the rhyme with me? Yeah. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock on the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fun ten. Okay, guess what we're gonna do now? We are going to make up our own special rhyme. So let's sit down. We're going to make up our own special rhyme that we can say in our class. So the children are going to act out the rhyme, one, two, buckle my shoe. And then we're going to talk about how the words at the end rhyme. And then what we're going to do is we're going to segment it and we're going to do like the first line, one, two. And then the children are going to um, help me think of words that rhyme with two. We're going to hopefully make a list of words and then they're going to get to choose which word they like the best. And then we're gonna make it into a funny, silly rhyme that will be unique to our classroom. So one, two, buckle my shoe. Two and shoe. Boo! Those rhyme, right? Boo, yeah. Boo rhymes as well. Boo rhymes with the word two. Boo, And what else? A blue rhymes with two. What else would rhyme with two? Two. Should we use boo, flu, moo, or zoo? Which one? Boo. 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 What do you think? Boo. Boo. Which one do you like? You like boo. boo? I like boo. Does everybody like the word boo? Boo. I like, I like zoo. I like you like zoo? I like boo. Maybe we can make up two rhymes. Boo. Maybe we can make up two rhymes. Boo. We'll do this one with boo. So one, two. What would, what we, would all we do? We all say boo. Oh, we all say boo. boo. We all say, say boo. 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 Three, four. What rhymes with four? Store. 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 Yes, store rhymes with four. What else rhymes with four? Door. Door. What else rhymes with four? What else Door. can we think of? Door. What says four at the end? Door. Door, yes, we have door, we have store. Can you think of anything else? Door. No. Well, which one do we want to use? Door is already in the rhyme. So what do you think? Should we use door again or should we use store since it's a new word? Store. You think store. we should use store? Uh -huh. Yeah. What could we say? Three, four. Store. We all go to the store. Go to the store? We yeah. can say go to the store. Go. Go to the store. Store and four rhyme. Store and four rhyme. Yes, they do. We're really interested in getting the children listening to the sounds of the words, and rhyming is one way to do that. You want to use bait? Okay. So, what is going to be bait? What could it be? I don't know. I don't know. Well, wheel. When I went fishing. I used a worm and I put it on a hook and the worm was the bait. What do you think that, what do you think ate the worm? A fish. The fish. The fish. So we could say, fish. worms are bait. Maybe we'll see. Nine, 10. What can a you think of that rhyme? Ben. Ben. You really want ben. a boy named Ben. Ben, what else could rhyme with 10? I have a, I, I have a cousin ben. named Ben. 
They Pen. asked why. So you have a cousin Pen. named Ben. Pen. 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 You're right. Pen, Pen rhymes. Bun. With ten as well. Bun. Bun. I I have Bun. Bun. Hmm. Let's say it together. Ten and bun. bun. Do they sound the no. same? No. No. But I bet later we can come up with a word that rhymes with bun. So. Ton. William bun. really wants to say a boy named Ben because he has a cousin. Do we agree? A boy named Ben can be yeah. in our rhyme. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna write that down. A boy named named. Ben. 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 Okay, are you ready to say our rhyme together? Literacy is a big part of our day from the time that they walk in until the time that they leave. So as teachers, we're always looking for, for new ideas and new ways to incorporate it. So we're always trying to encourage more literacy in the classroom. Okay, are you ready? One, two, we all say boo! Three, four, go to the store. Five, Let's all mix. Seven, eight, worms are bait. Nine, ten, a boy named Ben. And that's our rhyme. The earlier that we start with literacy, the better it's going to be for the children. So starting them at a very young age with, with learning letters and hearing those sounds and rhyming and being interested in books, those are all things that getting them interested in a young age, the earlier the better. Learn more at literacyessentials.org.